one thing I forgot to do mm. that I used to do with uh, Evo and I is open the can right after a record, but I didn't do that before this. It's a uh, really nice day outside, a little too hot for me. So in the spirit of a uh, nice sad Friday, well, I'm recording this on Thursday, but a nice warm summer relaxing day. I figured, why not do something nice, relaxing, and easy into your weekend? So I chose Diverse Capital. After many fruitless attempts at trying to get um, winter, because apparently winter isn't a themed map. And I guess that makes sense, that uh, if they were to do a winter thing it'd be kind of hard to actually tell where you are in a way i guess but here we are i mean it would be hard to tell what this is i don't know why the default to know what a place looks like would actually be when there's foliage on the trees and not snow everywhere why is this the default and not um winter because winter is a far more enjoyable time we're near a body of water that's all i got i don't know where this is yet this feels european i just don't know where like we got some conifers here although they can grow anywhere i haven't seen a sign like i haven't been, this is like one of those close to no i want over it won't let me can i i don't think i'm actually going to get a uh, sign in English anywhere because everything here is just like just far enough away from a sign and it's such a nondescript area that they really wouldn't have any words anywhere and fuck me this is they've skirted everything okay finally oh god dot ee -E. Estas, you know, that's Estonia, isn't it? EE -E is Estonia. Yeah, okay. I remember that. Anyway, as I zoom in on probably Tallinn, how's your day going? How's your uh, weekend going? Or planned weekend as I take a sip while you think about how you're going to answer me. Yeah. I'm, uh, Keeping the hike streak going. I haven't actually run it all this week, so I'm a little concerned. Actually, the water's out there, so maybe we're like... Ah, uh, we'll see here. I feel that it's... I'm, I'm just letting the knee take a break for this week. And then I'll start running again come uh, next week. Because I guess that hike was a little bit rough on the old knee. And I'm trying to figure out potential possible knee protection. You know, one of those neoprene knee things or those little knee sweatpants that I talked about a few episodes ago. But other than that, I started reading the uh, new book for this month and it is far easier to read. I'm not saying that it's like a simpler book. It's just, it's not 19th century prose translated from another language. This one's called... Uh, Ancillary, ancillary, ancillary justice. That's what it is by Anne Lecky. I heard it on a podcast. Someone said that it was like a fantastic, um, fantastic book. So, ooh, you've got Tutu Esti. I don't know what that is. Tallinn, Copley, uh, Tallinna. No, we're in Tallinn. I would like to visit this place. You know, Tallinn, you've got my thumb of approval. I approve. I would go visit you. That big stretch of uh, railroad tracks reminded me of a place in uh, Taiwan where they actually converted a whole like train yard like that into a park, and they left some of the uh, some of the railroad tracks in, so it looked kind of cool. Okay. Hmm. Criminal for so again. So I feel. Like, this could be this region of the world. Eh, eh, eh. 
Maybe, eh, eh, maybe these two. So now I'm just going to try to look for some uh, more. Okay, that's, let's, let's back up a sec. So I know that the Dutch, like orange is their color. They like a lot of orange stuff. And I feel like this, oh, Denmark. Here we go. So we're in capital, so we're Copenhagen. Unless, you know, this is a port, he very well could be from uh, another Scandinavian country. They don't particularly have to keep their boat in the country they're from, but we have a good idea. Book's great. I do enjoy it. Um, the synopsis I was told is like, like, spaceship consciousness is actually put into people's bodies and they walk around. It's not like they're keeping their old personality. It's been kind of like overwritten by the, by the spaceship. It, I'm still like early on into it. So it's, it's still like establishing stuff, but I don't know. It's a good, fast, interesting read. I'm liking it so far. I don't think I can get, is this like a weird club where they have this like a, I don't know. I want to get out of this. Det Art Tiska House. All the little kids everywhere. Let's go this way. All right, here we go. Oh, we have the Icelandic Embassy, it looks like. Okay, so we've got flags here. Well, come on. What's happening? That was weird. So, I, this, I know this is not... Reykjavik. We have some flags here. We have, that's Greenland, Falklands, Denmark, Iceland. Makes me almost think that this is not where I think it is. So I'm a bit torn now. Hmm. Um. I'm not seeing anything that's helping me figure out where the hell this is that is the greenland flag it's it's a weird one. that dude taking photos yeah he is what are these where am i i am so turned around now i do not even feel like this is uh denmark anymore i just need to oh, oh we have something i need to get out there but i can't I'm like stuck here. I want, I want, I want over there. How do I, let me hit home. I have 19 seconds. What way did I go? I kind of went both ways. So I got to go back this way and get me to a road, please. I think I may have just meandered in the wrong direction for a very long time and I'm paying for it now. Copenhagen. Thank you. <laughs> See, if I just went that way for three seconds, I would have found it. Um, anything else happening? Uh, it's the fun job of having to search for apartments. Polska. Well, now I know where we are. Um, we're in Warsaw. It's the concern now of just like, I have all these things and now it's just kind of like, how many things do I need to buy that I haven't had to buy for a very long time? Because in all the apartments up to the age I'm living at now, I've actually not had to worry about certain forms of household utensils or furniture. It's just it just turned out that way. It was it was the way most of the stuff agreed was kind of agreed to, I guess you could say. Man, this has to be No, that's Croatia. Hmm. We got Bosnaka. So Bosnian food? This has got to be Paul. This has to be Warsaw, right? Right? Whoa. I wasn't expecting this. This is cool. Let's see what we've got. Um, I'm just looking for, okay, yeah, they're L. Because I've also thought about this too is, you know, there's a lot of European countries that have colonized other places. I don't think there is a 
Polish colony anywhere else in the world, is there? What are we selling here? Let's get into focus. We got like Greek salad. Looks like some feta and olives. You know, the grossest stuff in the world. Is this like shawarma? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that shit. Fucking kebabs, man. They're so goddamn good. Get some shawarma or some falafel. Fuck, man. That shit is so good. What are we selling? I wonder how much this stuff costs. See, now I almost feel like this is not Warsaw. I mean, what would it be? It has to be, because, I mean, the only other thing that could be this, like I said, could be Cro uh, Slovakia. Dot PL. No, this is Poland. All right, stop overthinking this. You're going to end up giving yourself a headache that you already kind of have. What do we got here? Comfort bus. We go to Warsaw, Utska, Kolobrezsk. All the places. Oh, I'm going to burp away from the mic. Excuse me. I'll try to be at least a little bit hospitable. Yeah, I think... Oh, excuse me. I think we're... I don't think I'm actually going to find the uh, specific location. I just know where we are, and that looks crowded. Like, I wonder what... Because, like, every place has, like, oh, this is the the place to be. I mean, I know it changes for your def demographic or whatnot, but what's, like, the... Ooh, Outcast and David Guetta. The Orange Festival, we got... Oh, shit, I would have seen this. Queens of the Stone Age. This might have been right after... um. Like Clockwork came out. That was a good time to see him. That was a fantastic album, by the way. Kings of Leon, Queens of the Stone Age, Florence and the Mekine, The Prodigy, I think. If that is the Prodigy the same thing as Prodigy, or am I just always confusing for the long time? One of those guys just died. Outcast, I thought they were done. I mean, this is 2014. David Guetta, Guetta. Hmm. You guys had a banging. Festival. Yeah, I uh I would have definitely paid money to see that festival. Um I know. I know that's Latin. Mm, I wanna say we're in Munich. Based off nothing. I gotta stop that lip smack, it's driving me nuts. I mean I'm not trying to do it. It just happens. Is that Gator Gale? Let me get... What do we got? Is this... Okay, it's not. Parkering Ford Boot. Yeah, Ford Boot. Teak Fish. Aire Show Fresh. Dave. Where am I? This looks like a side street in Paris. But it's not Paris. Whoa. Get me out of this street and to a street with some... There we go. Seem to just barely miss where I want to be. Okay, Tree Road isn't helping me here. Um, I want there. Okay. What do we have here? Din Bill Partner. That doesn't help me. Jeep Cherokees. Jesus. We're all on the non-British side, so I at least know what country we're not in, even though that really was not a concern of mine. What do we have? What the hell is gate? Is it another word for road? Um, This might have some wording on it. Nothing. Oh, what is this flag? Okay. Whoa, we went from like bright and useful to abandoned. Damn. Like, what happened first? Man, that was quick. A little depressing. I didn't expect to see that. 
wasting my time seeing weird things, and I just need to find... This doesn't help me. Where am I? I keep getting those side roads. Nothing nothing here is telling me any... Oh, 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 oh. We have a vehicle with advertisements on it. Norway? No shit. This is Oslo, huh? I would not have thought that at all. I would like to go to this place, too. So I guess that's a fancy color house. So it's like gate road? Or is it just... No, these are called gates. I don't know. There's like a weird looking L. Please, I'm not Norwegian. What is this? It's a fancy... I wonder how much these houses are. They can't, they can't be cheap. Not in any way. Is this traffic school? <laughs> Look at that, I know Norwegian. Or is it kind of like, uh, excuse me. Is it kind of like, uh, Japanese where they're like, this is an English word, but we're going to make it into our Norse, like, version of it by using Norwegian pronunciations and words. I don't know. You know, you're dancing on the side of a building. Aren't you uh, a ballsy boy? Well, I'm going to make the guess before you tell me it's over. I'm feeling confident. I mean, oh, what is this language? All right, so we're in Southeast Asia. Usually the telephone poles kind of can t help with that too. I don't know which one though, because we're not doing like country URLs. Like we could be in Bangkok. We also could be Phnom Penh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I see? Okay, I know that, I know Indonesia likes doing, uh, wow, that's a fancy, I'm going to this. I want to see this thing once we get into focus. All right. Something center. Uh, do we have a URL? We do not, but this is called the U Center. A lot of words for you. Uh, ATM for, no idea. Let's move up a bit. See if we can't. We got me okay. Noodle cafe looks so good. Home room first step to success. Uh, what do we got down here? We got TOEFL. That is English. Uh, God, I forget. I know somebody ought to take it TOEFL to actually become a pharmacist in the U.S. It's um. Not fluency in English. You actually had to take it to prove, like, there's no confusion in dialect or any other information that could be potentially confusing to somebody with who needs, like, medical attention. So it's not like English fluency. It's, like, super comprehension. You know, the uh, no chance of there ever being an issue coming up when diagnosing somebody. You know, like, you may have an accent, but it's not going to confuse the person who's uh, asking for help. Although some people are just obstinate assholes and no matter what you do, they're just going to hate you. And like, what language is that? I want someone who can speak English, not you. You know, assholes live everywhere. Not to get into a tangent. But I'm not seeing anything to let me know what actual country this is. Because I can't really tell the difference between say like this and this other than that looks like it's got more little lines and whatnot that looks cartoonish and blocky and that looks just more squiggly like i don't fucking know and then that just looks like somebody who is taking this as a language and just did it as calligraphy i need a fl okay yeah now the panic sets in of knowing if that's actually the correct country for this flag, and I always go through this problem, and I hate it. I wish I could just remember once and not have this issue again, but I want to see what this says. Rabbit? Uh, can I hit smidge? No, I guess we're, we're here now. All right. That's a fancy-ass building, though. 
Um, give me something to go on, please. Like, I saw the flag. You think that should be enough, but it's not, because I'm an idiot. Uh, can I get over here? No, I can't. I'd like to see just the language. Krabby brand. Krabby? Buy, sell everything you can carry. Krabby? That's a fancy boutique shop. What are we selling here? I'll never know. I at least got the country right. And, like I said, nice relaxing into your weekend. Why make it hard? You're here to relax. I am definitely after this week. Oh boy. But whatever. Congratulations, it's Friday, you made it. We're going to see you back here on Monday. Letting you know that, hey, no, it didn't go that fast. And it'll come back around just as fast again. So uh, enjoy your weekend. I'll be here again on Monday to greet you back. Be like it never happened. Goodbye.